What up boys and welcome back to another video. So recently I've done these in-depth videos of uh, like certain dungeons telling you how to farm it, why you should farm it, like what you could potentially get and so on. And I've done a lot of dungeons videos for like years now, but I've also gained a lot of new people subscribing to my channel. So these videos are like more for the new people wondering, uh, you know, why are you doing these dungeons? What are you looking for? What can you get and i still to this day get a lot of those questions asked on both my videos and on my live stream so i decided to do like a run through of all the dungeons that i primarily farm and uh, talk a bit about like what you could potentially get from doing those dungeons so if you guys like the idea then make sure you uh press that thumbs up on the video so i can see that uh you guys also think it's a good idea as much as i think it's a good idea and in this video, we're doing Scarlet Monastery. So whenever you uh, fly over to uh, to Riskful Glades, you want to do the dungeon to the left. You don't want to do uh, like Scarlet Holes to the right. It's just less loot overall, more mobs in uh, this one right here, the monastery. So uh, make sure you do that because uh, you can do 10 runs of monastery and then you're going to be dungeon locked, but you can still do one run of Scarlet Holes before you're completely done for the hour. So I'm going to take you guys through like how I clear out the dungeon. And then we're going to talk about like what could make you a lot of gold in the dungeon. So before we uh, dive into it, I want to mention that you guys can still get the 0 to 10 million gold guide for 50% off. And uh, I just want to once again to say thank you so much to everyone who has supported me with this guide. I can't wait to keep on working on the guide because uh, if you didn't know, whenever you buy this guide or if you already have bought it or you're thinking about buying it, I'm going to keep on updating this guide. Uh, I don't have like a strict schedule like every month I'm going to update the guide every second week. But I'm, I've done a ton of updates to it, and there's a ton of updates coming. And uh, whenever a new expansion releases, I'm definitely going to keep on uh, updating it frequently. Uh, sometimes even a couple times, uh, times a day if it's a brand new expansion. But link to it down below in the description. So, SM can definitely be done on every single class there is. It's a very short dungeon. Uh, just like Sunken Temple that I just featured, it uh, doesn't matter what class you bring because you will manage to uh, knock out the 10 runs in uh, less than an hour. And you get locked out from doing dungeons once you've done 10 runs anyway. So uh, I tend to do it on a Druid though because then I can just do uh, 10 fast runs. And after I've done those uh, 10 fast runs, I can uh, just do something else in the open world. So... Uh, Make sure you kill absolutely everything on this one. Like the ghost, the bosses. Unless you're, we're talking about the last boss. I always skip the last boss. It's just, I'm going to show you guys why though. But uh, yeah, definitely skip him. But besides from that, you just want to kill every single mob there is. And SM is one of my favorite dungeons in the game to gold farm in. It, back in the day, it was also my... Uh, my favorite dungeon to go farm in when I would do it on my rogue, like stealth fronts and so on. And it was also one of the, uh, like back in like vanilla vanilla, like 16 years ago, was also one of my favorite dungeons, uh, trying to get the, the good items that SM has to provide. But it was way different now when Classic WoW were released and everyone just did like these AOE groups and you kind of grew tired of it. So I want to go into the monastery right here. And then I kill both sides. There's a lot of mobs on this opposite side. So you definitely want to make sure that you down these right here. And um, this is the boss that I always skip. I never, never kill this guy because like you kill him and then you got to wait. This, uh, this girl right here comes out, stuns you. And now he's going to, she's going to rest him. And then you got to kill him all over again. And it's just, I can't stand the wait. However, it is like, it, you do have a chance at getting some loot from this guy. So, uh, might be worth doing for some people. I just can't be arsed. You can see, I just got the achievement for doing the dungeon. And I've done like 
if not the thousand runs, then like multiple hundred runs of this dungeon. But I never kill the boss just because of that. So uh, then we got to clear this uh, other side of SM. Make sure that we kill all the mobs. There's not a lot of mobs in this dungeon though. But the, uh, the reason why SM is so good, I'm going to go into detail on that when we're talking about the loot. But like, it had, it's swimming with these super items, like unique items, uh, like common unique items that you get every now and then. And then the super items, like you have super items in all demand that you could only dream of. And it also has a good, good healthy amount of like world drop transmog with value. So now I'm done with the run. I mean, I've been slacking, having to try to do this as fast as possible. But you can uh, you can kick in and do a run in like three minutes, no problem. And once uh, we're running out, we can just reset the dungeon, run back in, rinse and repeat. But uh, now we're going to talk about why you should do it. So I was talking about world drop items, uh, like good ones. And the cool thing about SM is that the loot table is completely completely screwed i mean you can get skull flame shield in sm doesn't make sense if you've been playing the game and you know what like level uh sm is originally it's not supposed to drop skull flame shield but it does which means that it also drops items like the cloud keeper leg plates it can also drop orb of deception so that's pretty cool and it also has <laughs> that's what makes it so stupid because at the same time you can get green items that are really good like the Buccaneer's Vest, the Silver Tread Set. So we're talking about like high level items like Skull Flame Shield and low level items like Buccaneer's Vest. And they can both drop in the same dungeon. That's really cool because these are like some good transform items and in some cases fast selling too. But the Holy Grail, the list is long. So as always, I'm leaving the list of items down below in the comment section. Uh, whenever I do SM and I talk about these super items, I get a bunch of comments down in the comments section uh, telling me that, student, these items, they do not exist. Uh, my grandma's uh, sibling uh, tried to do SM uh, 200 runs and has never seen these items. Confirmed, doesn't drop. According to Wowhead, doesn't drop. I've seen, like all the items that I'm going to mention now, I've seen all of them besides one, even though tens of people if not 100 people have told me they can't be farmed i've seen them drop live if i haven't received them myself i've seen other people receive them whenever we do loot appraiser challenges uh and there's no way to to cheat that so the items we're talking about some of these are kind of common like the butcher it's a good good item it's a weapon then you have the sunblaze coif the blood spiller the uh, bedra bed Skyler robe. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Uh, and the Chesterfall musket. Those are also they're rare. I mean, they're blue items. They're hard to get, but you're gonna definitely see them if you spend some time in SM. The items, however, that you won't see that many of, but there's a lot of people who have confirmed drops on them, are the uh, the set boots, the Scarlet boots. You have uh, items like uh, Dream Slayer and Watchman pauldrons. And also the sliver blades. Now these are these are rare, but uh, there's uh, quite a few people that have obtained them now. Then you have the items that very few people have obtained, and I've seen some of these twice, but never more than twice. Uh, and we're talking about the mark of Kern. It's a ring. It, it's not that good, right? But then you have the tainted Paris weapon, really good. You have the wind weaver staff. You have the Steel Claw Reaver, Flint Rock Shoulders. Now, that's the only item that I haven't seen drop yet, the Flint Rock Shoulders. But, like, according to some people in my chat, they've seen or heard about other people getting a pair, but I haven't seen one myself, so I can't confirm. But seeing that all of these others have dropped at some point, it only makes sense that this one can also drop, but it's, like, super rare, like a lot of these are. Uh, and then you have the Archon chest piece, the Swamp Chill Fetish, and a really cool one, you have the Fight Club. I've only seen that drop once, the Fight Club. Some of these items, 
are going for millions. It's kind of hard to price them because there's almost none up on the auction house on both NA and EU. So a lot of these items, very hard to price, very hard to find a buyer, but they are potentially worth millions of gold since they are extremely hard to get, similar to the old demand super items. Uh, so once again, the list for all of these items down below. If I have missed some, then let me know down below in the comment section so we can add that to the list. But that was it for today's video. So if you enjoy these videos, make sure to press the thumbs up. It really helps on my channel. So I appreciate it, guys. And I will see all of you back in on tomorrow's video. But until then, bye-bye.